The F1 engine has been one of the crucial parts over the last years, but since the engine freeze, we haven't heard much about it. And to make it even worse, it isn't even possible to upgrade the engine, so you're stuck with what you got, right? Well, that's not exactly the case, as there are some big engine upgrades coming next year. Mercedes will bring a much upgraded engine in 2024. Mercedes claims there is opportunity for improvement as well as a fresh idea for component allocation. Because the cooling system functioned in such a small space, the zero-pod idea of the W13-W14 reduced engine power. So, pay attention to the horsepower in 2024, as in Bricksworth, Mercedes is certain that their power unit is currently world-class and that the new layout for the W15 will provide substantial room for expansion in the form of power output. Lewis Hamilton's remarks to his crew during the Japanese Grand Prix were harsh yet determined. On a tricky and full course like Suzuka, the W14 exposed some of its inherent limits, particularly in terms of aerodynamics. The seven-time world champion first mentioned a lack of load, which unavoidably leads to slower speeds and sharp turns. However, the Bradley team's issues are not limited to a lack of downforce, but also to the management of the overall balance, with a rear that is not up to the new front end, an aspect that brings with it a slew of broad problems on the car, such as traction, ground clearance, bounce, and so on. The problems are all at the rear, but it's a question of concept, I'm sure, Hamilton stated after qualifying at Suzuka, returning to the subject after the race. Just look at what McLaren did following the Red Bull philosophy where they are today. You can't pretend not to see that's the direction. With the current philosophy, if we add load to our car, it doesn't get better, it just bounces more. We need the next six months of development to be the best ever for us, but we have a team worthy of the world title. I'm sure we will succeed. There is one area in particular that should not be overlooked in the Brackley team's future progress. One of the most significant drawbacks of the Zero Pods idea with which Mercedes began the 2022 championship was the packing of the power unit. The very small volumes available had forced the Brickworth engineers, their headquarters where the drive units are designed and produced, to make significant compromises. The dimensions of the power unit packaging, the arrangement of all the components inherent in the propulsion unit, had to be reduced to a bare minimum, which had an impact on the operation of several components and, in particular, on the cooling system. It appears that during the design process, the engineers deemed the reduced drag caused by the lack of bellies on the car to be more lucrative than the lost reliability and power values. Remember that reliability and power are two concepts that must go hand in hand with these regulations. By sacrificing any component, the percentage of use is limited in order to ensure its reliability, inevitably reducing the final power output of the entire unit. The new lateral structures of the single-seater have already been partially introduced this season, with the new sides already orientated towards the Red Bull philosophy. But it was obviously not possible to redesign and modify the power unit components for the current season. The 2024 car, on the other hand, will be born directly with the new philosophy, both in terms of the bottom and upper parts of the car, and the space constraints will become decidedly less stringent, with the possibility of a repackaging of the drive unit, which will then give much more comfort to the internal components, gaining in reliability and thus in percentage of use, and above all, obviously in pure power. One of the Mercedes team engineers noted that the layout Mercedes is presently using was created for the Zero Pods idea, with notably modest proportions and a cooling system that must be kept to a minimum. Despite the restrictions demonstrated thus far, the Mercedes team engineer said that the statistics analyzed in Bricksworth reveal a drive unit that does not fear comparison with its competitors, and in some cases, even proved to be the most effective. This is why Mercedes is optimistic about the next season, when the reorganization of the volumes of the bonnet and side pods, the bellies, will allow for a more spacious component arrangement and sizing. We shall thus observe if, in 2024, a Mercedes power unit is capable of leading and overshadowing competing units, as it has done since 2014. So with the idea that next year's car will be hard to beat, Mercedes has set very ambitious targets for the 2024 season in order to test that entirely new concept they've created for the W15. Mercedes is looking at fresh concepts for the upcoming season after experiencing serious problems with the car this year. The team hopes to meet the very ambitious targets by the beginning of next year. Mercedes trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin has remarked that the W14 lacks enough stability. He's also stated that the absence of downforce is making it difficult for Russell and Hamilton to control. Shovlin revealed at Suzuka that the development of the W15 will take a different approach. We are changing the car quite considerably for next year. Whether or not we can solve all the issues that we've got on the handling, 
That will depend on a number of projects delivering. Does Mercedes stand a chance next year? Could the upgraded engine plus a completely new car design change everything for them? That's the big question. But unfortunately for Mercedes, their competition isn't sitting still either, as Red Bull will be bringing some upgrades for their engine as well. And according to Koji Watanabe, Red Bull will have a better Honda engine for 2024. We're not allowed to improve anything in terms of power and performance, but we can still make progress in other areas with this engine. For example, at Ferrari, they've developed the engine considerably, and the ERS system from Mercedes is also very strong. We will also improve our engine for next year in terms of its lifespan, so there is definitely more in the pipeline. But this upgraded engine will not help Red Bull in the long run, as Honda isn't allowed to share any details regarding the engine anymore. And starting in 2026, the two long-term partners will become rivals, and there will no longer be any exchange between Milton Keynes and Sakura. But due to the engine freeze, Honda's new partnership, and Red Bull's own power plant, they've already cut the ties when it comes to data and techniques. It's a shame that we weren't able to reach an agreement with Honda. They've created an excellent engine, Max Verstappen commented, on the formalization of the Japanese giant's passage to the service of Aston Martin beginning in 2026, the season in which the new technical and regulatory cycle of F1 will debut, with significant innovations regarding the power units. There will no longer be MGUH, and the electrical part will play a larger role in the power delivery than is currently the case. Honda and Red Bull were unable to reach an agreement on the 2026 power unit due to a divide caused when the engine business was established in Milton Keynes to deal with Honda's planned retirement after 2021. The Japanese manufacturer then changed its mind, but it was too late for Red Bull to halt a massive investment, intended at ultimately establishing an engine department in Milton Keynes, so making the Anglo-Austrian team a 100% independent manufacturer from all perspectives. Honda and Red Bull won the Drivers' Championship with Max Verstappen in 2021 and dominated the 2022 and 2023 seasons. The foundations for extending this cycle into the next two years are all in place, but the relationship between Red Bull and Honda can only be called cold since the agreement with Aston Martin was made official, and the two companies that have been linked since 2018 are now rivals in 2026. Red Bull has simply rented the intellectual property to run the Honda power units on the circuit, which are solely manufactured and maintained in Sakura, Japan. We can't even change the settings and maps. These operations are carried out by Honda staff who are with us on the circuit, explained Helmut Marco. Red Bull doesn't tell us anything about its engine, which is being designed together with Ford, and we don't tell them anything about our development, declared HRC President Koji Watanabe. At the moment, what is underway is it could be defined as a war in terms of information, the words reported by the Dutch newspaper De Telegraph. At Red Bull, they have a good level of knowledge regarding our power unit, added Watanabe. But ultimately, we are responsible for the development and the entire process. Most of the know-how remained with us. Thus, the two F1 giants will remain in armed peace for another two years, during which Red Bull has no way of knowing how Honda is developed and will develop a power unit that is, however, subject to a freezing regime. Red Bull and Honda will be rivals starting in 2026, and one, or both of them, will discover how much they will miss the other. What are your thoughts on the situation? Will Red Bull be able to develop an engine worthy enough and capable of winning races and even titles? Or will they come to miss Honda? And if they fail, will Mercedes be the ones to take over and dominate again? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. We can't wait to see what happened in the upcoming years.